Will Marshall and welcome to LearnTheAccordion.com Just before we start today's lesson, you will need to get the free download from the website for the C major bass scale. At the website, if you go to shop, you'll see the free download called C major bass scale. This PDF booklet will guide you through, along with the video, how to play a major bass scale. Let's get the accordion on and get started. OK, let's watch me play the C major bass scale first. With the major bass scale, we actually only use three fingers. The ring finger, number four, middle finger, number three, and index finger, number two. As you can see, this is the PDF booklet that comes with the video. The notes in the C major scale are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And as you can see, I've notated the fingers with each note, so you can't go wrong. The major bass scale is actually made up of three triangles, and it's a really good way to think about it and to learn. So the first thing we're going to do is locate C. Now the two rows we're working in today are the fundamental and the counter bass. The fundamental is the second row in from the bellows. So we're going to locate C. C is usually marked with a little indentation or a stone. You can easily feel it with your third finger. So once you have located it, I want you to push it down. Okay, good. And we're now going to locate D. D is two steps above C. So as you can see in the diagram, uh, the second finger can brush past G and locate D. And then with my second finger, I move up to D, just feeling it and then push it down. So locate C and D, alternate those, and then my third finger will go out to the counter base, that's the row closest to the bellows, and push with the third finger. So I'm making that triangle. Let's play C, D and E a few times. Here is an image of what you have just played, C, D and E. If you need to, pause the video. If not, let's continue. Let's look at the next three notes, F, G and A. This is where we make the second triangle. So we move our fourth finger down to F. Now, as you see here, F is one below C. So we put our fourth finger onto there and we're going to use our second finger to guide past C up to G. So just like before, let's get used to alternating between F and G. And then the fourth finger moves out to A, which is in the counter bass row. So hence we make the, the triangle. So we go F, G, A. Let's get used to doing that a few times. Let's watch for the video this time. So my fourth finger is tapping on F and I'm using my second finger on to G. And if you watch the fourth finger, it goes out towards A. So here is an image of what you have just played, F, G and A. And as you can see, I've kept C in there just for a reference. So if you need to, let's pause the video there. If not, let's continue. There's only two notes to go. So we've got two notes remaining, B and C, but we're going to start off on A, which is the note we have just finished on. So with our fourth finger, we're on A and the counter bass. And with our second finger, we're going to locate B which is two steps up from A. So let's use our second finger to find B. And we're going to complete the triangle by using our third finger to go to C. And that completes the C major scale. Let's watch with the video this time. So the fourth finger is on A, and the second finger is two steps up to B, and the third finger is on C. So that completes the C major bass scale. Okay, let's try the whole thing. Okay, so we start on C and I'm going to use my second finger to, to go two steps up to find D and then the third finger is going to go out towards E. So let's just do that a few times again to get used to that. So C, D and over to E. Then the fourth finger is going to go down to F, which is the one below C. And then with my second finger, I'm again two steps up, this time to G. And then the fourth finger goes out towards A. 
the second finger over to B, which is two steps up from A, and then the third finger goes back to C, and that completes the C major bass scale. So well done. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson, and if you did, please subscribe to the website or follow me on social media. This will keep you up to date with any new content. Until I hear from you, happy practicing.